So there are a lot of different ways to think about intelligence. And of course, the problem is we are looking at intelligence through our human filter. What's our type of intelligence? I wish we could get out of our, away from ourselves and try to see things without that lens. However, we're stuck with that right now. So one way that I've been looking is trying to understand this aspect of self-awareness. Mere self-recognition is a specific level of self-awareness. And we used to think it was uniquely human until 1970 when it was shown in great apes that they also, like us, could recognize themselves in mirrors. Not only do they recognize themselves in a mirror, but they use a mirror to view themselves. They understand they can use it as a tool to look at parts of their bodies they can't see without it, to, to, to do different behaviors and see what they look like. It's quite fascinating. Um, with dolphins, they're, they've, they've separated. Dolphins have been split from the primate line for about 95 million years, separate evolution. What would they do? They, were, they have big brains. They're complex social species like the great apes. And it was a compelling question to ask. And again, they too, like us, and the great apes show mirror self-recognition. Later, about five years later, my colleagues and I did the, did the same experiment with Asian elephants and found they could also recognize themselves in mirrors. So there's just this handful of species that seem to show this ability spontaneously.